Hello, welcome back to Brando Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna uh, be using SketchUp Notes and Tissue Add-on uh, to work together and create some kind of abstract mesh. So this is one of the results. I'm using Blender 2.8 because 2.8 uh, Tissue Add-on has a special option for the tessellate. But let's take a look at the generator first. So this is SketchUp nodes tree right i started with a plane um two vertices times two vertices or it's, it's just a plane and the plane can be in the x y y z z x it's just uh, the default and you can actually play around with the with the size and everything will still work the next thing i have is this extrude region so a plane you simply uh, extrude it and you can have control over the extrusion so and if I get rid of this extrusion we, we simply have a plane being extruded multiple times so that's a uh, that's first and the next thing we want to have is some kind of random extrusion and in this case we actually have a total control over the extrusion so we can have we can place the next extrusion on any phase index um, that's thanks to this index to mask so this will create like zero and one number uh, if, if we look take a look at this using stethoscope so that's like a true and false for the masking and yeah, I press the wrong button just let's just reload okay so using this setup we can then use tissue add-on um, so I'll, I'll simply duplicate this guy and we want to kind of use this as a branching method so that can be pretty interesting for that for this in this case I want to also create material so I'll create like a this material maybe red color and blue color this is actually for tissue add-on so it's for it's working in an interesting kind of way and I will link the material into this guy so control L copy the material so this guy now has the same material and for this guy I will go into edit mode select the face maybe just around the area and then assign it uh, with the material I will use the red color for this so we need to turn on texture okay so now it's become red edit mode maybe select everything and then assign it with blue and then next I want to select the face and give it a red color so so whatever there is red it's gonna be doing the tessellations select this element and this is the base mesh tessellate turn on material ID and use the first material ID which is red color Combine and use, repeat two times, use face normal, and okay. So that's uh, that's what we that's what we get. Yeah, yeah, that seems to be what I want. Maybe the bottom part needs to be larger. Go to edit mode, select face, scale it. 
So if this guy try again, tessellate. Okay. Alright, that's probably slightly better. Maybe I can do it a couple more times. Tessellate, repeat four times. Face number on, merge, combine and use. Maybe use merge as well. And now it will take a while. So, oh yeah, that's, that's not too bad. It's almost like a fractal light. So you have spare chalk nodes here. The node tree is pretty simple. It can be more elaborate and creates a more interesting branches. And, and then you use it to tessellate. That's actually the, the whole idea. You can perhaps use uh, some kind of algorithm or just simply draw it using grease pencil. And that's become the component for for our tessellations. Um, you get all kind of result. So in this case, we get that. But I think I tested before and see, this is what I got. It's pretty interesting. And I'm here I'm using Remesh just to have a little bit more organic look. Remesh set to smooth. If it's blocked, it's more like Lego. But that can be the beginning of some kind of uh, procedural um, CD or something. But anyhow, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.